Hello everyone, it's me Dr. Mohammed Shweb and in today's topic I will discuss a two group CC disconnection for one five difunctionalized compound in disconnection approach are retrosynthetic analysis. The contents which we will study here are the two group CC disconnection one five difunctionalized compounds, what is, what is conjugated addition and what is Robinson annulation. Before proceeding to the chapter and uh, examples and chemical reactions, there are few points which are to be considered for synthesis of difunctionalized compound. First is that the difunctionalized compound with odd number relationship that is 1, 3, 1, 5 or 1, 7 and the, both of synthons are of natural polarity while the synthesis of difunctionalized compound with even number relationship need one synthon at least of one natural polarity. And how the synthon of one natural polarity is obtained? Uh, that is the process called as Ampelung or polarity inversion. It is a chemical modification of a functional group with the aim of the reversal of polarity of that functional group. And all odd number acceptor synthons such as A3, A1, A5, A7 and the even number donor synthons such as D2, D4, D6 have natural polarity and vice versa. Here is a 1,5 digiton. When we disconnect here, here it is the D2 synthon and here it is the A3 acceptor synthon. From this carbon oil 1, this carbon is 2, this carbon is 3, this will behave as acceptor synthon and this carbon is 1 carbon and this carbon is 2 and this is donor synthon. We recently studied that the even number carbon are donor synthon while the odd number carbons are naturally acceptor synthon. And 1 5 relationship is there exists. So, so 1 5 di carbon carbon disconnection gives us an enolate and an electrophile that is acceptor synthon which is alpha beta unsaturated carbon oil compound. The new thing is a combination of these two regions so that a carbon carbon bond is made by the conjugate addition to the enolate to the enone giving us 1,5 diketone on protonation. Here is a ketone in the presence of base. Base will abstract this hydrogen and it will become carbenine or enolatine. It will attack on this enone and after protonation we obtain the target molecule which is 1,5 diketone. There are some specific enol equivalent which are used for Michael or conjugate addition or 1,4 addition. Suppose for ester which we discussed 1,5 diketone here. This is one process A which we have discussed and this is B. We preferred the A path because it was easy and we have synthons of natural polarity that is D2 and A3. While if our 1,5 diketone has two methyl branches here and we disconnect by this A then we will obtain this donor synthon and this 
can only be an acceptor synthone if here is a double bond like this and it is only possible if carbon is pentavalent which is not possible so in this case our preferred disconnection will be B here it is donor synthone and it will be an acceptor synthone Since it is a 1,5 digiton, similar disconnection, CC disconnection, it brings a ketone and enone. And how this enone is formed? It is formed by Manish reaction. Manish reaction uses a ketone, a formaldehyde, and a amine or a primary amine, a scanty amine or ammonia. Here Manish reaction is given for the convenience of students. Here it is primary amine, here it is formaldehyde, here it is ketone by Manish reaction we obtain this product so let's start our synthesis here is a ketone in the presence of a base it will react with melanoate and we obtain this product when this carbon reacts with this carbonyl carbon one group from here will leave and only one group will will appear in the product then it will react with this manish base it is called as manish base we obtain uh, this manish base by this manish reaction then this carbon is activated carbon and it will behave as a nucleophile it will attack in the presence of acid on this carbon so it is d2 it is one carbon it is second carbon d2 donor synthone it donates its pair of electron to this carbon which is acceptor synthone it is a3 1 2 and 3 a3 so A3 synthone can be formed by using Manish base or a Manish reaction. And in the presence of a base, we get this product, which in which when hydrolyzed, the ester will be hydrolyzed by basic hydrolysis, and when heated, decarboxylation takes place and we will get our required product that is 1,5 diketone as shown here. Another example shows that how good this reaction is addition of cyclopentadione with acrolene. Here it is cyclopentadione which in the presence of water is tetramerized to enol form when it reacts with the acrolene, we get this product in 100% yield. Here is, a, here is a mechanism. When this bond will again form a double bond with carbon, that is carbonyl, this enolate carbon will attack on this carbon and we will obtain this product on protonation. Here is a keto acid and we try to find out what is the relationship it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here it, once again it is 1, 5 difunctionalized compound and the carbon carbon disconnection brings about an enone and this 
synthon which can be easily obtained from aldehyde or melanoate. In synthesis, this is diethyl melanoate in the presence of a base. The hydrogen from this active carbon is abstracted and it gets negative charge when it will attack on this carbon conjugate addition takes place then the hydrolysis will bring about the conversion of one ester group in the carboxylic acid and the heat will eliminate carbon dioxide from this uh, carboxylic acid and further hydrolysis will keep only one carboxylic acid in the product it is our required product that is keto acid here is a mechanism and it shows an advantage then when this diethyl melanoate reacts with this enone and for the protonation of this intermediate a proton is again abstracted from this diethyl melanoate here is diethyl melanoate the proton is abstracted from this and this anion will again reacts in the first step so once the reaction is started we do not need a base to abstract this proton this anion will be produced in during the protonation or the last step. Next is synthesis of cochineline. In a mino diacetyl amine was changed into a ketone. For example, this tetramethoxynonane 5 amine was required. This NH2 is converted into a ketone group so that this may be obtained by the reductive amination of ketone to the amine during synthesis. Then it is basically two OME groups are attached to this CHO basically it is acetal and this one is another acetal group so when uh, we disconnect this OME from both sides we obtain dialdehyde it is a symmetrical ketone When we add an ester by functional group interconversion or functional group addition and then disconnect from here, we again obtain two molecules of this aldehyde ester. This is advantage that by adding one um, ester group, we obtain two molecule of a same compound once again it has one five di co relationship when it is broken from here it is melanoate and the second one is acrolein and this disconnection is a conjugate addition since this is very straightforward, first of all, it is dimethyl melanoate in the presence of a base and methyl alcohol it reacts with acrolein. This carbon will attack here and we obtain this product. Next, it reacts on this carbon and one OME is removed from here. And next in the presence of a uh, halide salt in the and uh, wet dimethyl sulfoxide 
one ester group is decarboxylated which is called as Krebs method and when the two molecule of this are condensed uh, are reacted in the presence of a sodium base sodium hydride we get this type with this ketone which is further decarboxylated on this uh, ester group and target compound that is ketone is obtained before going further let's see what is manish reaction and what is its mechanism i have told you that uh, there are three component of a manish reaction what is aldehyde second is uh, uh, ammonia or its derivative primary or secondary amine when it reacts and in uh, two steps water is removed and aminium ion is formed when this aminium ion reacts with enolic form of a ketone which is third component this manish reaction produces manish base which has an a nitrogen or a derivative of ammonia or amine on beta carbon in a ketone and what is the mechanism of krebs method here it is ester the halide take this methyl and this bond is shifted here and decarboxylated and in the presence of H the ester is completely removed and a hydrogen is inserted at that place next are in amines as the name shows in stands for double bond and amine these are used as specific in all equivalents and are particularly good at conjugate addition these are used to synthesize ketone and ester because conjugate addition takes place in ketones and esters it is a synthesis of 1,5 dicarbonyl compounds cyclohexanone when it reacts with pyrrolidone and in the presence of catalytic acid water is removed and a double bond is formed it is in amine when this electron pair is shifted here this double bond will react here and conjugate addition will take place and the further protonation of this double bond in the presence of water will remove this amine and a keto group is inserted here the detail mechanism is shown here and how to synthesize unsymmetrical diketone suppose here is a diketone which has 1,5 relationship there are two possibilities but if we'll disconnect from A we get this donor synthone and this acceptor synthone which can be easily formed by, by Manish reaction how, it, how its synthesis takes place since it takes place in the presence of morpholine and a catalytic acid in the first reaction this morpholine will come on the place of carbonyl for our convenience we have written nh2 or nr2 on the instead of morpholine then conjugate addition will bring this react this product and in the presence of water as we have seen in the previous reaction the mechanism is only shown here this water will attack here and it will this electron pair is shifted on nitrogen 
as shown here when this hydrogen will be removed from here and amine will abstract this hydrogen it will become a good leaving group and, and this abstraction of this hydrogen brings carbon oil to this carbon and this ammonia will leave so we get our target molecule next is silyl enol ethers of the ester add to enone with lewis acid catalyzing the reaction giving a reasonable yield of keto ester here is methyl isobutyrate in the presence of a base this hydrogen will be abstracted and when it will react with trimethyl silyl chloride now this oxygen will attack on this silicon and chlorine will leave here and we will obtain this silyl enol silyl enol and this is ether and when it reacts with this enone in the presence of this Lewis acid conjugate addition takes place and we get this product here are some compounds which resist direct attack that is we know that Michael acceptors are good at conjugate addition Unsaturated nitro compounds and nitriles do not usually suffer nucleophilic attack by enol or enolates and both are good at conjugate addition. Here it is alkenyl nitro compounds and here it is alkenyl nitrile. When the reaction between this morpholine derivative and this ethyl 3 nitroacrylate takes place conjugate addition takes place this carbon will attack on this carbon and in further steps this morpholine will be removed and a carbonyl group will be inserted as we have studied in previous reaction next is there are some less electrophilic carbonyl compounds Aldehyde and ester chloride are poor at conjugate addition while ketones and ester are better because less electrophilic carbon atom is present in ester and ketones. Here it is cyclohexanone in the presence of lithium diisopropylamide as a strong hindered base. A lithium enolate will be formed and it will show a conjugate addition thus this product is formed. Here are some compounds which are activated toward conjugate addition. The examples include exomethylene lactones, ketones, vinyl ketones, manish bases, and there are some dimers. And here are the compounds with removable activating group in alpha position. The electron withdrawing groups that can add to alpha position and removed easily after the new carbon carbon bond is formed. And they promote conjugate addition here are some of the these examples these can be added to alpha position and after conjugate addition these can be removed next there are a few reactions which involve robinson annulation this method uses a ketone as shown here and a methyl vinyl ketone to form alpha beta unsaturated ketone in a cyclohexane ring. The main reaction in this is Michael addition followed by aldol condensation and a dehydration. And different reactions we will see in coming examples. So the mechanism will be seen there. Here is an example. Here it is a cyclohexane ring, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So we can say that it can be formed by aldol condensation first. When we will disconnect here, it is 
So active carbons that is CH3 and here it is a ketone group. Then again uh, there is one 5 di carbon carbon relationship when we will disconnect here we obtain a donor synthone and an acceptor synthone. This acceptor synthone is easily formed by a managed reaction or a managed base and this is uh, this diketone has natural polarity of as a as to behave as a donor synthone since it is here this diketone in the presence of a base or oh, uh, this carbon will attack on this electrophilic carbon and this uh, amine will be removed and this product is obtained then in the next reaction in the presence of a base aldol condensation takes place and this carbon will attack on this carbonyl carbon and the ring closure takes place and next this OH is made a good leaving group in the by using paratoxic acid and when it will remove a double bond is formed that which is our required target molecule next that is uh, synthesis of cyclohexenone here it is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound it is disconnected by aldol condensation we obtain a, an active methylene or active carbon methyl carbon and a carbonyl compound then there is one 5 di uh, CO relationship and we obtain a, this is a donor synthone and this is an acceptor synthone which is chalcone which is naturally present and the synthesis is similar to the previous ones this active carbon will attack on this enone by and the product will be obtained by conjugate addition followed by this one which is called as aldol condensation and dehydration will bring about double bond and the ester is removed by hydrolysis and decarboxylation next is synthesis of dimidone in dimidone there is one three relationship when it is disconnected here one is a one is donor synthone and other is an acceptor synthone now here there is one 5 di x relationship di c o relationship sorry 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, by disconnecting from a we obtain this melanoate and this pentene 3 in 2 ohm since it is easy in the presence of a base this melanoate will attack on this enone and will add it by a conjugate addition and then the further steps are this uh, active carbon will attack on this carbon and this group will be removed and cyclization takes place next is decarboxylation of this ester brings about target molecule which is dimidone at last there are some heterocycles which are made from 1,5 dicarbonyl compounds here it is enamine when uh, it is um, a symmetrical compound when it is disconnected from both sides we, uh, we will get this ammonia and a carbonyl compound here there is 1,5 di relation, di CO relationship 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 relationship and when we will disconnect here we get this is a donor synthone and this is an acceptor synthone since this is easier one in the um, this is uh, in the present this reaction shows in the presence of a base and this aldehyde will be added to this one and we, we will get this uh, enone this keto ester is added to this uh, ryl aldehyde in the presence of base and we will obtain this uh, enone 
which will again react with this keto ester which is used in the first step it is advantage of this reaction and this diketone is obtained which will react this with this ammonia and cyclization takes place by the formation of phenamines This was all about uh, retrosynthetic analysis or disconnection approach of 1,5 di-functionalized compounds. I hope that you got this lecture or uh, the concepts. Thank you.